Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. The car? Why are you giving me a TV? Why are you giving me a TV? Your girl got a TV, y'all. <laughs> yeah, she might give you some money. She might give you some whatever. I don't know. But Hey loves, so today's video is sponsored by Sakaik. They were kind enough to send me over their vanity and I wanna kind of briefly show y'all me putting it together and me giving you my quick overview of the overall vanity. Now I am gonna give y'all my honest opinion about putting it together and I will say it came with a lot of pieces. And it was kind of, I will say intimidating. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, but I did do this all by myself. So maybe if I had did this with someone else, it wouldn't have put so much pressure on me, but I will say everything was packaged good, that the mirror did not come cracked, which is a very first from a lot of brands that I've worked with. There usually is a problem with the mirror. The instructions were straightforward, so I about knew how to put this together because I put a lot of vanities together in my past, but I did like how everything was numbered to help me differentiate if i'm saying that correctly <laughs> whichever uh piece is which because there's so many similar like-minded pieces i didn't want to mess up the um way of putting this vanity together My all-time favorite part about this vanity is that it comes with a stool, which is very rare for most vanities because they usually have to have you buy a separate stool, and that was a plus. And this is the overall vanity, and I love, love that you can see through what's inside of these drawers. The glass top just gives it that luxury feel, which I love. My all-time favorite, and it does come with three different light functions, so that way you're getting the lighting that you like, and it comes with some storage behind the mirror, and I don't know, y'all. This is probably by far my favorite vanity that I have been sent. So if you are interested in this vanity, all the links will be down in my description box below. And I believe I have a coupon code as well. And yeah, y'all, make sure y'all check them out. And I'll continue to let you guys watch the rest of this video. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Hey y'all, so it is Vlogmas Day 4 and I'm doing really, really mm. good. We are a day behind, I will say that, but that is okay because it's better than not being on schedule at all, okay? For that, Vlogmas Day 4 is more so like, I want to do something different, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. I think today is really going to consist of just my day-to-day -day life as a mom. Like I said, I'll be trying to incorporate Christmas things in here. Still trying to make it interesting, but truth be told, like every day is not gonna be interesting. <laughs> I actually ordered me 
some Chick-fil-A. And y'all, why they forget? They only gave me one sauce, mind you. When I get my Chick-fil-A salad, I get them special made. When I say special made, I get extra corn beans, extra bacon, and I add extra nuggets. Meaning, I need more sauce. So they usually give you two. Girl, they only gave me one. I like to have three the most. The most. I have to have three. It just, you get all the flavor. The creamy salsa, like, ugh, they only gave me one. So, I am not gonna eat this yet. I literally placed a mobile order to get me a big size bottle of creamy salsa. Some other stuff too for dinner tonight. Um, Cause I think we're gonna eat nachos tonight. But um, I got a big thing of creamy salsa because it seems like they never like, either they, the, it's, it's the one right here, this Chick-fil-A right here. They charge for extra creamy salsa. So they always be telling the dasher, Oh, well, it, it costs like more to get just a freaking sauce. Like, who are y'all? Y'all turning into McDonald's. Like, since when? And it's only because they're franchise owned, okay? The other Chick fil A's, they're like, no problem. Here you go. I hate when the Dasher goes to this one because we have other Chick fil A's, surprisingly, in our area that's still close by. And I hate when they go to that one because every time I be like, "Hey, because you can't put it in on the on the web on the um, app, you can't say, can I get an extra sauce? It limits only two. So if you ask the dasher, they're like, sometimes the dasher be like, they over here tripping about extra sauce. I'm just like, whatever. I like when they go to the other ones because the other day they went to um, the other Chick Fil A and she was like, I got you, woo -doo -doo. and that's why I gave her a five dollar tip. Period, y'all. I ain't gonna get into it, but whatever. He gave me one sauce and that just really made me mad because it's all nice, hot and ready for me to go to eat it. And it's gonna be kind of cold um, about time they get here. And I like my nuggets to be warm. I like the rest of the salad to be cold, but at least the work, my nuggets be warm, you know? But I'm not gonna let that ruin my day because it's just food, girl, calm down. Um, Tayden and Layla are at school. Um, it is just Kaden and um, Harlem. They're in there. In their room watching Miss Rachel, and um, honestly, y'all, it's 10:07, and I just need to push out more content. I have like sponsor content, and that's what's really kind of going to be really hard for me because pushing out vlog vlogmas while I have sponsor content is extremely, extremely hard, extremely hard. So, um, yeah, y'all, I might have that on my to do list to edit that this morning and then um hopefully my order gets here soon i uh, should be here in the next like 30 minutes um so that way i keep my salad oh but what i was coming on here to tell y'all this is i might i may do this in this vlog if i don't i just i'll do it in the next vlog but i want to try starbucks christmas drinks so i asked on instagram follow me on instagram tatiana alia underscore Ask on instagram to tell me y'all i should have asked yesterday because people would have more responses but I asked uh, on Instagram I said what are some of y'all holiday Starbucks drinks so I can film this video um I just want to see what y'all get or if y'all don't know just tell me some drinks hell and I'll just get them ordered to my house and try them on camera like I want them to be Christmas themed I don't want them to be just something that they are they have all year round so that will be something Christmassy that we can do in this video Say hi to Kaden. Hi. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> a car? A car. He's here and y'all, he's in the midst of potty training. Well, he's potty trained. He's fully potty trained. I will say that. he. I, I ain't changed a pull up on him in probably over a month. But this man, when he goes to the bathroom, I don't know why. Like boys just, I guess they just are different. But Tater don't do this. He will literally take off all his clothes to go to the potty. And then when he puts them back on, they're inside out. Like his pants are literally inside out. And the reason why he's so attached to me right now, mind you, they ate breakfast. He wants some of this. I already gave him some. That's why he all, all up in my grill. And I ain't ate nothing. Yes, Kaden. I ate some Huh? I You want what? And then he be talking that gibberish. And the thing about Caden is, let me tell you something. I personally feel like he could potentially be on the spectrum of having autism, but I think 
just I'm, I'm just taking it in consideration of what I think it could be. Him having the closest sibling is Tayden and him being autistic. And when he was developing those early stages where he can learn how to talk, you got to think Tayden wasn't talking. He st When Tayden started talking, Kaden started talking. And kids are, they mimic who they're around. So, yes, Layla was there, but Layla was in school. Layla wasn't around him like that. Like, Layla's at school. So, when Tayden started coming home and talking and stuff, and then, mind you, they're always, like, around each other more, um, he started picking up on what Tayden was saying. And then, he's obviously picking up on us, too, but kids learn off of other kids. And um, I think sometimes the gibberish, it's like, maybe he's thinking too fast. Because that boy can talk. Literally, if you ever catch him, he can talk. And sometimes, like, he'll say a full sentence. You're like, why you... You know how to say that. How, why are you talking gibberish? Like, my son do talk gibberish. So, so I'm trying to be patient with him. Because he is only three. But the, the, the t talking Spanish, baby. <laughs> I just be like, boy, now you know you know how to talk. So... I don't know. I think he sees, he doesn't comprehend that Tayden has autism. So he sees Tayden in a way, but Tayden knows how to speak. It's just Tayden doesn't speak clearly. And we're trying to go get his um, tonsils check, check, checked out. Says, what? My God. We're trying to get his tonsils taken out because um, they're really huge. And we weren't able to go this month. Um, so we're, I got my next appointment with them in January. Um, and I just need them to look at that and make sure everything is cool. So with that being said, hopefully he'll be able to, hopefully Tayden will be able to talk clearer because Tayden speaks very well. Like he knows how to talk. Yes. What's scary? Once he gets his tonsils taken out, he can talk clearer. I already, I can just feel it. I, like, I know he's going to talk clear and his speech therapist even said the same thing. Hopefully when that gets resolved, my son is talking clearer and it'll also help Kaden in ways. Um, but there's things that Kaden is very smart. Like he can count numbers. His colors, it's a little tricky. So um, I try to practice his colors with him. It's just that one-on-one -on -one attention. And now that the older two are in school, I can really have that dedicated attention, learn, teaching him. Um, even though I was already doing it already, but you got to think when they're all at home, you got to like try to balance out because you don't want nobody to feel left out and all this other stuff. So I'm able to really just take the time like, okay, this is that. Let me teach you your colors. Let me teach you your numbers, your shapes and all that. Um, but yeah, Kaden... Kaden started learning the concept. Like, when Tayden got potty trained really quick, Kaden started seeing Tayden go to the potty, he mimicked him. He like, okay, this boy not peeing on himself. He don't poop on himself. Let me get my butt on this potty. Kaden was just getting lazy and he wouldn't go. So, like, he comprehends the potty. Now, like, it's just, he goes to the potty by himself. Literally, the only one I change right now is Harlem. So, when she potty trained, and girls are walking the park. When she's potty trained and all that, baby, I will have no more diapers. No more diapers. But yeah, I'm done rambling. I'm about to wait for my DoorDash order to get here. And then hopefully I'll be able to eat my salad with the my salad dressing that I need. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. So it is actually later on. And the Dizay, girl, guess what I impulsively did? That's what I impulsively just did, y'all. And it's, by the way, 2.49. Why give me a TV? Why give me a TV? And I've been needing a TV. And this TV was only $184. It's a 58-inch TV. I wanted a 65, but I can settle for a 58. I ain't want a 55, but a 58, that's bigger. So, and I feel like it will be perfect in my little area. So, your girl done got a TV, y'all. <laughs> I done got me a freaking TV, y'all. Smart TV and everything. Layla wanna show you her tooth, y'all. This is an old, old tooth. She been having this tooth for a minute, y'all. And she actually found it and she lost it. Where you find it at? In my drawer. In your drawer, yeah. So the tooth fairy gonna give you some money for that, okay? You just gotta put it under your pillow. 
gotta make sure it's under there, okay? Alright. Uh, I can't get money. Yeah, she might give you some money. She might give you some whatever. I don't know. We got, we got to see what the Tooth Fairy feeling like. Right? Okay. This is my TV. And it is a smart TV, so you can access all types of stuff on it. And basically, yeah. So I'm going to actually mount the TV, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll probably do that later on tonight or maybe in another vlog. I'm just going to take it out, make sure it's cool because... DoorDash did deliver, deliver this. It was actually two people that delivered this. And so you know how they be. They, even though I tipped them good, they might not have handled this TV with care. So I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or anything and just see what it's giving, okay? And I think my mom actually has this TV, but I think she has Element and Roku, not Eximo TV. So I don't know, it kind of gives Vizio, which I like my Vizio TVs. Um, I'm not really a fan of Element, not going to lie to you, but I couldn't beat up that deal. I couldn't pass that deal at all. I feel like, from my experience, Element TVs, they go out really quickly. Um, they're very much so not really bought on the market a lot, so that probably explains why. But I ain't tripping. I need a TV in my living room. My wall was looking very bland. Like, look at my wall. Like, I needed something in my living room. I feel like with my TV, it would start looking like a home down like not a home but my living room will start looking like a living room because now i have a tv i feel like it just was a sitting room like a waiting room it gave so i'm gonna go ahead and take sis out the box just to see what she gives she really good quality because i've been needing this tv for a while y'all and like i can finally have guests sit in my living room and just watch tv like i feel like when you have a tv you have more stuff to talk about baby we're sitting here just trying to make up topics like no so let's go ahead and put this tv TV. It's actually a decent size. It just looks small because it's on this big old couch, but it's actually a good size. Like I've never had a TV this big, so I'm truly grateful. Not even gonna complain. But I'm gonna put these legs on it and then just put it on the stand. So let me go ahead and try to do this off camera because I just know I'm gonna be doing some. I just know. Let me just do it off camera, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what they say it? Yeah, I can't wait until I mount my TV. Period. She is T. Check out this this little film. Ah, oh, this TV noise. Hold up, man. Check out the TV. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's just too bad, boy. But I want to see it. You gotta put it on the wall. Later, I'm gonna put it on the wall. y'all so the tv is mounted and it looks so cute and i can't well not the tv mounted girl i'm so slow 
The TV is set up, almost set up. I turned it on. The screen good, it look good. I just, I know tonight I'm gonna probably mount it. Um, I'm gonna try to do it before. I really don't care because them neighbors right there, they be playing their mariachi music. Lord forgive me. They be playing their mariachi music so loud late at night sometimes. So I don't care if I'm drilling hoes in the middle of the night. They just gonna have to hear me, okay? I wanna take it out just to make sure that it had no cracks and it was cool. And it's literally so nice. Like, it just compliments my living room. And if I didn't have kids, I probably would have just left it like that. But no, I like the mounted look. I feel like when it's mounted on a wall, you have more of a ambiance and you can put stuff right there and it just looks better. So definitely gonna have to mount it because I don't want one of my kids to pull the TV down, break the TV or anything. So yeah, but my living room is starting to look like a living room. Good morning, y'all. I know. You're probably like, why are you saying good morning? This this done turned into low-key a weekly vlog. Good morning. And as y'all can see, the TV's up. I'm gonna go show y'all in a minute, but um, well, this turned into like a probably like a three-day vlog. I'm gonna try to post it today. It's not gonna be as much entertaining though, which I hate that. So what I'm gonna do is make breakfast with y'all on camera. Yeah. All my kids is just mommy, 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 mommy. Mommy, mommy life hits real. Like everybody was like, "Where girl? Where yo? Where you been?" It's what? It's Vlogmas day, it's day seven, and the last video I did was Vlogmas day three. I missed like four days. Technically, I missed three. Uh, but it's just like y'all. Who done turned on my TV? Y'all, they didn't get it. They done got a kick out of this TV stuff and they don't know how to act. So I did mount my TV and she looks really good. Once it gets more light, it's literally early in the morning, y'all. So it's still kind of dark outside. Um, the TV, I mean, I know how to mount TV. So it wasn't hard for me to do. I put in some, um, the little core hiders. So I was able to mount my TV with ease. Okay, so the TV is mounted. Definitely watch. I guess, what is it, Sesame Street? You know, I ain't watched cartoons in a minute. But anyways, um, I'm gonna make the kids some breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this vlog as long as I can. It's gonna be a little choppy, yes I know. But like I was telling y'all, I'm just a mom, like. <laughs> my juice, somebody definitely snuck my juice. I'm gonna have to put a lock on the refrigerator again. And I don't care if you're against that because my kids, and it's not even my kids, it's 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 one or two that would do that. They'll come down here. It used to be Layla, but Layla, she's grown, oh, not grown, but she's older now. So she about know not to do that because she had, when she was little, she used to get the blueberries and raspberries and she would spread them all over my floor. And I remember her dad was really mad. <laughs> and then I don't think, Teddy used to do it when he was like three at my, my house. And um, yeah, that's when I got the lock. Because they would actually play in it. Um, Layla and the baby are upstairs because the baby is in her bassinet. But I'm gonna give everybody some water. Tayden, we've been trying to work with his therapist about like what's going on. Like he's just been having random tantrums. Like he'll tell me no, stop, and I just, I don't play that. And one thing about it is, I don't treat his disability with delicacy, if that makes sense. Like I'm not finna, oh, you have autism, you're gonna get treated like more nicer, no. That is just, I, I don't let autism define my child at all. So yes, you're gonna get in trouble just like everybody else. So you can't be throwing temper tantrums and all that, I'm sorry. But everybody child is different. I feel like Tayden is at the, like everybody, every autism is not the same also. So I feel like if he completely didn't understand, then that's different. But Tayden be knowing, Tayden be knowing. Like even his therapist said, like sometimes he'll take advantage if there's a different therapist, he'll take advantage and do what he want. Tayden be knowing. That's why I'm like, no, like he has developed this habit of thinking that he has to be on the phone. 
and tablet all the time and i don't do 24 7 electronics baby so you're gonna have to do some hands-on activities we're either gonna go outside if it's cold as heck outside now but we will go outside we would do hands-on activities we're not gonna be on the phone all the time here tay tay go to the table please and like right now he's gonna throw a fit because he just got water instead of juice and it's just like no you need to understand that there's gonna be some times where you're not gonna get what you want goes layla i got you some water i'm gonna make some pancakes and eggs so just give me some time and it will be done yes you already drink some water you don't need any juice hey one two three four Five. You gotta calm down, okay? okay. I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna try to make some cookies, switch off. Yeah, we'll side, we'll side. I'll be back. Well, pull up an ice block and lend an ear. skillet fail me twice like i tried to do i was like okay it ain't gonna let me do this so maybe it's me but then i try to do normal regular circle ones and it keeps burning my pancakes the chef or is it the skillet because what's going on that skillet been going to trash that one always burning stuff so i got this one right here but i wanted to put my eggs in that look jesus you're not supposed to make eggs first <sighs> I'm gonna be back once graphics is done because I am just, what am I doing? So the girl, your girl just finished making breakfast. And, oh my God, Lord Jesus. I don't know what was going on. I think it was really just the batter that I made. I don't think I was supposed to pour milk. It was supposed to be water, but y'all know how I feel about stuff like that. If it say water, put milk. The pancakes looks decent or whatever. I don't make the perfect circle pancakes. I feel like, yeah, they look aesthetically pleasing, but do they taste the best? To me, I don't know. No. But I just made them some pancake and eggs. I have these in the oven. Um, actually, they should be about done. I think I'm going to pull them out. Every time I don't pull them out on time, I end up burning them. So, I told y'all I really hate making breakfast. I, I When I told y'all I hated making breakfast, I wasn't lying. Like, breakfast is my least favorite meal to make. Do Layla's? This is your cup. Is that your cup? Okay. This one's gonna be Kaden's. Is that less? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, can you sit over here? This is your seat. Sit right here. Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. You have Tatings. There you go, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, hands together. Thank you, God. For the food. We are eating. May. It be good to tell it. I can't hear you. Our, Our bodies. bodies. Amen. Amen. Look at the cookie mashed up. <laughs> Let's finish the cookies. Well, these two I made earlier, but then these are the ones that I just finished um, letting cool off. So they're ready. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on my my Santa Claus. My oh Lord. Yes, the first time I made these, I'm not gonna lie, not today, but it was the other day, like a few days ago, I burnt them. But now that I figured out how to cook them, I'm cool. Teddy's over there whining because he wants cookies and they're not even done yet, bro. But yeah, these are, oops, these are the cookies. They're macadamia nut. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, that's our cookies. They look really, really good. You get a cookie? Get a cookie. Just get one. Get a cookie. You get a cookie? 
good. Those that wait comes first. If you know what I'm trying to say. You get a cookie. Oh Alright, everybody. Try their cookie. Try your cookie. Oh my god. Don't mind taking hair. Is it good? Is it good, Kaden? Good? <laughs> Is it good, Layla? Is it good, Tete? Ooh, crazy hair. So yummy. yummy. <laughs> we vlogmas what day four? A late start. This is gonna be a late start. So hey, it's something it's better than nothing. Okay. I'll catch y'all in vlogmas day five. Hopefully, day five is way more interesting, way better than day four. But yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. But I hey, at least I got a vlog out. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in my next video.